everybody. Welcome back to STEM with Chantel. Today we're going to do handwriting analysis. Since we just looked at cursive handwriting, I wanted to do one more analysis, and this is print. Because I know a lot of the teens write in print. Not everyone writes in cursive anymore other than their signature. So I wanted to analyze that too to help you guys. So she wrote the same message as Jennifer. And now I'm going to show you my analysis of hers. So her eyes are her eyes have dots directly above the stem. Her crosses to the T are right in the middle and then she makes large loops for her D's. But then if you look at her G's, it's like a single vertical stroke, no loops. So from there, the characteristics I notice is aggressiveness. And I'm going to go faster. Consciousness. And you can see that from the low place, um, I dots and T bars, legibility and sharpness in her writing. Egoism, very full, capital L, slant to the left, large capitals, flourishing and underlinings in the signature. Independence, large capitals again, angles, first strokes of M and W are higher than remaining strokes. Lucidity. Good organization of spacing, simplification. I definitely see that. Maturity, good distribution of spaces, simplification, originality, naturalness. Rationality, same thing with the features. Uh, the traits of simplification, straight lines, upward script, firm T bars, low space I dots. Now, she shows arcade as well. Her M's and N's look like arches with rounded tops. She shows regression and isolation and I'm just looking at the layout, size, shape, continuity, some typical gestures, handwriting uh, analysis of the letters that we looked at already, and then the signature. She also has the feature of turning itself. Now, let's get into the size of handwriting. Small handwriting. So, we already went over the positives and negatives of that, but you can pause and read over those. Now here's where hers gets different uh, with the writing. Hers was more of a narrow width versus uh, Jennifer's was wide. So positives and negatives. Positive shows self-control. Negative could be um, inhibition anxiety. And then now let's go down the word spacing. So large writing again. So positive mental clarity. But negative could be emotional inhibition. Now her writing had heavy pressure versus Jennifer's had light pressure. So positive is she's self-assertive. A negative could be, you know, sometimes she's angry, anxious, but very alert. And now let's go down to the slant. She writes with a left slant. Remember, Jennifer wrote with a vertical slant. So a positive of that is she shows willpower, strong self-control. But then some negatives, um, sometimes she can be in denial about her feelings of insecurity. So same thing again. I took this analysis and gave it to the student, and she was like, wow. You know, so it's, it's amazing if you take the time and apply it. Handwriting analysis really works. Thank you for tuning in to handwriting analysis. I hope you learned a lot. Um, I, I will admit, I think this one was the hardest one to teach in a short time frame. But I think if you pause the video and just look at all the components, you'll be fine.
Thank you for tuning in to Handwriting Analysis. Be sure to like this video, subscribe to our channel, and share. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.